Hello and welcome to yet another devlog uh, involving the 1.2.5 update. Uh, you know, of course, GT. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about challengers. So I've got Gobi with me. He's going to be talking about scaling. because He was the one who did most of the challenger rescaling. We've rescaled tons of challengers, added more challengers, changed transformations, improved drops, changed how Z Souls drop, changed this, changed that, Zenny, TP, etc. Practically every part of challengers has changed this update. Um, not to mention the quality of life changes that come with and benefit challengers. Um, so to get right into it, we have something like the new challenger selection screen, which should be on screen right now. Um, that allows the player to cycle through, uh, pages of all the challengers and then each, uh, challenger will have, you know, little arrows you can click to go to the different stars of the challenger. Of course, if you don't have them, you can't view the drops, just, you know, makes it easier to load like that. So it's a pretty simple system. Boom, send the send the server a request for the data server will send it back or not send it back if you don't have it unlocked simple packet structure there makes it pretty efficient from a performance standpoint however so this screen will show uh the star a little thumbnail of the character not per star it's just one to save um file size on the mod pack this whole system's about five megabytes if it might have been three sorry but small the images are all low res to make this small whereas they still look good so Things like TP, Zenny, well, make this simple, everything shows. It renders the item texture, the amount, and what percent they drop at, and the name. God key will also show here, levels will show. It's pretty nice. Um, so the system will drastically improve quality of life on challengers. Whereas after you select a challenger, you don't have to left click to spawn. You click select on that select it says spawn at the bottom that's because it spawns the challenger right when you click that button boom spawn so that will heavily improve gameplay um i've heard from all my testers that have experienced this system that they are not having fun going back on the live server after this because they're too used to this new system after just a week of playing a feature you guys will love is by default when you open the menu it will show your last selected challenger you can restart your mod pack do whatever it will it's a data on your character so it will have, if you just played Frieza three star, it'll be Frieza three star. If you just played Goku two star, it'll be Goku two star right when you open the menu. So last selected challenger, wow. So if you just want to go respawn that sucker, boom. You want to respawn your last challenger right when you get in the arena, boom. And this makes challengers all GUI based now, which I believe heavily improves the quality of life of it. And to jump into the last quality of life changes that really affect challengers, uh, TP is any, a lot of those dropping items that had stacking issues uh now auto stacks so once they enter your inventory they the stacks will automatically merge so what was happening before tp is owned by you right when it enters your inventory it is not owned by you the stack you have in your inventory is already owned by you so when the new stack enters your inventory not owned by you it won't stack with the other one with that I think that's all i got for you guys um maybe i'll talk at the end of the video but for now here's Govi to talk about scaling to really quickly talk about some of the challenger rescales we did, I'll be covering over a few points. Uh, really quickly, to talk about the first point, TP and Zenny, challengers went through quite a lot of adjustments. We felt as if their progression wasn't as beneficial to the players as it could have been. We decided that challengers should truly follow you, in a sense, throughout the story. Um, for example, repeat quests felt as if they were the only real way to get reliable, quick, and easy TP. So we changed it to make challenges and repeat quests more comparable and continue to follow you throughout the uh, story gameplay wise. Uh, Z Soul and Kyo Shards. I am sure we all had our fair issues with drops not doing their job or dropping. Uh, the changes we felt that were necessary to these drops were not only changes but even added upon. A lot of challengers were really good, but in order to progress you had to fight a specific challenger that was either late game or early game or some odd random challenger. That's all you had until you got a better one or continued on the story. For example, you could just skip an entire challenger set and it just sit there. You didn't need it because it didn't drop anything, or didn't have good enough rates, stuff like that. Or you could just continue, not to skip the entire challenger set. Now we gave them a much needed look over so that way each challenger set it's viable in its own way but you could still skip it if you don't need it period 
but it'll always be viable. So you're not skipping it for no reason. Uh, Saga Z Souls. The Saga Z Souls that you could trade at Spawn with Goku have been changed. Uh, we gave them a name change, first of all. So instead of calling them Namek, Cell, and Babidi Z Souls, it will now be called Tier 1, 2, and 3 Z Souls. Uh, there's no real fundamental change. You can still trade them in. It'll give 10 XP to whatever race you choose. Um, it was more of just, what if we gave challengers a drop chance of these Z Souls? This new idea comes a part of being able to get SSJ2 Z Souls while you're grinding SSJ3. Being able to work on previous forms to also continue on new ones. This way you're not having to completely work on only this new form, but you can continue to work on a previous form and still give your new form some attention until you have to give it all of it. Um, transforming challenges. The transforming challenges were supposed to feel as if it was a bonus to your current challenger. Um, however, in our current case, that probably felt as if that wasn't true at all. So we give them a much needed glow up as well as a much needed touch upon. Um, making them nearly the best challengers in every set. When grinding TP or Z Souls, uh, for example, we previously we had very few transforming challengers, which even when you could grind them, uh, you easily ran out of their value because you could skip them or continue on, or they didn't drop anything. Um, now, transforming challengers will drop the same as their base form counterpart, um, but also have an increased rate of drop chances for Z Souls. They will have an increased TP and Zenny count. And this is hopefully to give them the much needed value that they deserve. And to continue on with what Goey was just saying, uh, the transforming rate uh, chance for it to happen after you defeat the first challenger is 40% up from the previous 33%. So it was raised 7%, which is a slight amount. However, it would make them just a little bit more. Um, there, there have been often enough that you can, uh, can rely on them enough farming. However, there's still a chance at the end of the day. With the changes to challengers, we also felt it was necessary to add some new challengers, add some stars, and some challengers move around transformations, as Gobi said. So some challengers have been just bumped up a star across the board, like movie pack one, two, Cell, and Bobby's minions have all been moved up one star. It's still the same, but obviously drops and stuff changed, as Gobi mentioned. So new challengers, uh, Gohan 2, Gohan got a 2 and a 5 star. It's Gohan, man. Now he has 6 total. Uh, we've introduced the Kai Challenger with 3 total stars. We've introduced Vegeta 4S. So Vegeta finally has the same count as Goku. Uh, the Key Fighters have 6 stars. And they span all the way from Saiyan Saga all the way up until Bobby. People like Yamcha, Tien, Krillin, Trunks, Kid Trunks, and Goten. So pretty much all the characters that didn't get some shine in other challenges and other parts of the serve. Uh, then we have Piccolo, who uh, got five stars. He went from none to five. That's pretty nice. And with all that being said, that just about concludes Devlo 15. I hope you guys are all excited for these upcoming challenger changes. Uh, everyone on the team is excited for you guys to see these. Uh, super excited for this update, guys. I hope you guys are all feeling the same way that I am update is going to be one to remember I'm telling you that right now uh these challenger changes make the whole system so much better being that i've been playing it on the podcast recently it's super entertaining i hope you guys all enjoyed in case you aren't please subscribe please drop a like uh follow us on twitter win the discord all those things if you if you're super interested in staying in contact with us and being in the know about what we're doing when the next update's coming when the, 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 the you know what i mean yeah hope you guys all enjoyed have a great day